Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is our fifth video in our series on how to use sketch blocks and make your uh, more of a, an effective uh, SOLIDWORKS model. And as I demonstrated in the last video, um, now, you know, I didn't intend to do it, but it's probably a good thing it did happen, is that SOLIDWORKS crashed in us. It wasn't trying to make it to do so, but I think what was happening is that we had our A block down here being edited by the same A block up here. And remember, this is just like in uh, AutoCAD. When you change uh, you know, the, the shape of uh, one block, it will change the shape of all those blocks within your drawing or in this situation within our sketch. So when it did that, it was already having problems with over definition every now and then. It not only went over define, but uh, caused SOLIDWORKS to fail. So we're going to try to avoid that. So what I'm going to do here in this film is I'm going to show you how to fix that one block and uh, fix some other relationships with some of the blocks I already have in here. And then I'm going to show you a brand new approach and how to do this and how to clean this up by using sketch geometry in two different sketches in order to make uh, the insertion of the blocks a little bit more complete. And I think you find that uh, last element to be much more satisfactory. So, what I did is very similar to the last film. I took that A off here, copied it up here, and put it up here. But um, uh, what I did in addition here is I took it out of our uh, sketch out of here. So it'll be no longer confined by the sketch elements that are down here. So whatever edits we make up here is only done to this block by itself. So let's go ahead and click in the block. Let's go to Edit Block, which is up here in our uh, Block Toolbar. And let's add some uh, elements to this to make this a little bit more of a better sketch element. So I'm going to draw a line across the top. I'm going to click in that line, select the midpoint, and then select that line. We're going to make that coincident. Actually, let's click on that point and this line. We'll make a, get a midpoint uh, relationship there. We'll just do a, a center line across the bottom here, too. Now, the center line is horizontal, but I notice that these lines down here are not horizontal necessarily either. So, let's do Control z Let's take that line. We'll make that horizontal, too. This line will make that horizontal. And the desire here is not to make this fully defined because this will never turn black because it still has the ability to move around within the universe set aside here in our block in our block editor. But we're going to make sure that when we move this around that it's going to move around as a whole unit. We're going to put a 5 inch dimension here. It's already 5 inches. And let's see if we can move this around without it uh, blowing up on us. So it isn't doing it. So we're going to do a control Z. And if you remember last time we put an inch and an eighth dimension on this. Let's go ahead and do that. Now let's see if we can move this around and see if it moves around whole. And it does. Probably the only thing that needs to be confined here is the center line. Let's go ahead and put that to, to that, make that coincident, and that should be okay. Now you notice that we do have an insertion point down here. It's a little blue dot down here. This is kind of moving away from that. We can move that insertion point around to that, or we can move our model to the insertion point. Either way would work. But we do want to make sure that our insertion point, my desire, is to have that insertion point in the lower left-hand corner. So we're all done with that. We could do rebuild. The one thing about rebuilding, by the way, is it's going to take us all the way out of the sketch and take us back to our feature, which is going to be the split line. We don't necessarily want to do that, but another way to do that is just to exit out of a uh, edit block. You go to edit block, and uh, it's asking me if I want to turn off my sketch relations. I don't want really want to do, but we did edit the block, but we're still within the sketch, so we can still move that block around if we wanted to. And if we wanted to, now we could take that block and put that back where we want it to go. So we lost some of our uh, elements in here, but let's say, I'm not going to do this, but let's uh, just uh, partially define this. I'm going to put that on that line, and because it's on the line, oops, things are going to go into the edit mode. We're going to go ahead and move this up a little bit, and then we're going to grab this line here and make that coincident to that line. And if we do that, we're going to make that collinear, it should be in pretty good shape. I'm not going to put any dimensions on this, but if you look at this block now, there's only two relationships associated with it. We have a collinear relationship, and we have a coincident relationship with that line. If we were to do a, uh, perhaps a center line from the top down here, put a dimension on that center line, so that it becomes uh, a little bit better defined, we'll maybe make that five inches. And uh, we want to keep our uh, sketch relations on, so we can see what we're doing. We're going to take this one. Oh, oh man, look at that. Stop working again. So that makes this video a little bit shorter too. But uh, I'm going to do the very same thing in the next video. I'm going to show you how to clean up the blocks and we're going to jump into the solution to this problem in our very last video.